イタリアのランベルト・ディーニ国際顧問にお願いいたします。Your Imperial Highnesses, Prince and Princesses Itachi, Mr. President of the Japan Art Association, Excellencies and Ladies and Gentlemen, I take pleasure to open my brief remarks by underlining that the Primo Imperialis International Standing owes much to Your Imperial Highnesses, direct involvement. And enlightened support. The same award ceremony has been blessed year in, year out, by your gracious and august presence to meet the laureates and for Prince Itachi to hand over personally the awards, which confers to this event the solemnity that the premium deserves, being the most prestigious prize of the arts in today's world. I also take pleasure to confirm once again my high regard and full support for the Japan Art Association, its authoritative selection committees, and all those who, whose work contributes to the continuing success of the premium. My warm congratulations, of course,、uh, go to the laureates of this 24th edition of the premium. All of whom have been chosen among outstanding artists nominated by the International Advisor and originating in different countries and continents, and who meet the very high standards that the Premium has rightly set for itself. Among these year's laureates, allow me to say a word on the selection in the category of sculpture of an artist, Cecco Bonanotte. That does not belong to the school of installation, to which much attention and uh, deserved, uh, well deserved、uh, prize has been、uh, given in recent years. But rather this year, to the noble, to someone that belongs to the noble tradition of figurative sculpture. In the premium's motivation for Cecco Bonanotte's. We read that the originality of Bonanotte's work lies in the creation and use of a technique open to dialogue between figurative representation and abstraction, and that Bonanotte's work has become an important point of reference for the visual arts at international level. It is worth noting that while the world economy is going through a period of stress and pain, and citizens and patrons of the arts in many countries are confronted with tight financial conditions, there is ample evidence that the world of arts is flourishing, as new impressive talents are emerging around the world. Thus. The Japan Art Association and its authoritative selection committees will be increasingly confronted with the uneasy task, actually, they consider a tough job, of recognizing younger artists already known internationally for the originality of their work or the quality of their performances without infringing the premium's fundamental objective. Of assigning awards to artists whose impact and influence on the art scene and in enriching the global community is fully established. I am fully confident that the Japan Art Association will find a right balance and succeed also in this new endeavor and environment to keep up the Primo Imperialis reputation. As the most prestigious prize of the arts in, in the world. On my part, as international advisor, together with the distinguished members of the Italian Nomination Committee, I remain committed to propose for awards not only artists originating in Western countries, 
including Italy and then Japan, but also recognize talents from other parts of the world. Thank you.